हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन आवर ई लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ जी एस कॉलेज ऑफ कॉमर्स एंड आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू बिजनेस इकोनॉमिक्स एंड दिस सब्जेक्ट बिलोंग्स टू बी सी सी ए थर्ड सेम इन लास्ट लेक्चर्स वी हैव स्टार्टेड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ मोनोपोली द मीनिंग ऑफ मोनोपोली एंड डिफरेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ इट्स इट मीन्स हु इज मोनोपोली द सिंगल सेलर और अ सोल सेलर इज कॉल्ड अ monopolist or he is a he is engaged in that particular specific kind of market structure that is called a monopoly market structure it is a market structure and a single seller who is known as a monopolist okay he is selling his product according to his own fixation of a price means prices are decided and fixed by him only because he is a maker of the price but he is not the taker of the price okay he has a control over the prices of the market which prices of the products which he is selling in the market now when we call him as a price maker it means he is deciding the prices of a specific product in which he is dealing with and it means he is changing the prices he may increase the prices he may decrease the prices why because there is no competitor available in the market in kind of monopoly market structure clear he is a single seller he is a sole seller he is a price maker okay and the concept of firm and industry completely disappears in case of monopoly it means what being a single seller he has he becomes the entire industry himself okay he is dealing with all the prices of the products he is deciding the prices he is fixing the prices whenever if he wish to decrease the prices generally in the market the prices are not decreased in case of monopoly but if he want to minimize his rates he can minimize depending upon the demand of the particular product he will decide how much to supply in the market it means the supply the quantity to be supplied in the market is completely is in the hands of monopolist okay and so he is called king of the market then what are the characteristics that also we have seen in our last lecture but today we will go through with the different kinds or different types of monopoly now there are three to four types of monopoly first is pure and imperfect monopoly second is legal natural technological that is also called as a technical and joint monopoly then it is simple and discriminating monopoly and lastly it is private and public monopoly now what are these different kinds of monopoly it means there the, these are the different types or different kinds of monopoly where a single seller he is the owner of the price of that particular product as we have already discussed he is a price maker now what is pure monopoly in pure monopoly or this type of monopoly pure kind of monopoly the person the seller he is a single firm okay who controls the supply of the commodity having no substitutes it is absolute monopoly power pure monopoly okay means there is no chances in the market that there will be another competitor on the next morning he will come and have a fight with him means as we have seen there is no uh, free entry for the others means for the other person for the other sellers who will enter in the market and sell his product but such monopoly is very rare it means the situation where pure monopoly exist that is very rare in actual sense then there is imperfect monopoly imperfect monopoly refers to the single firm again a single seller or a single producer who is selling his product but which have a close substitutes here we can say that the other firms can enter in the market because there is a close substitutes it has a threat of competitors threat of a competition from rivals means the other persons also they can enter in the market and in future there is a possibility that the monopolist may face a competition he might have to decrease his rates okay diminish his rates to uh, 
control over the prices of the products okay these are the simple types you just have to go through with this then second is legal natural technical and joint monopolies now coming with the legal type of monopoly now when we talk about legal monopoly it refers to the provisions for the trademark patents copyrights it means no other product as you all are aware what is trademark isi mark these are the certain marks certain kinds of copyrights which are given to those persons to those sellers it means they have the right nobody can copy their product nobody can copy their name of the product their quality quantity doesn't make a difference here but when we are talking in legal sense it means they have got the rights from the government that particular mark is there on their product that is called a trademark a patent or a copyright it means other cannot copy or carry the same trademark same patents like the seller who is presently selling his product in the market okay then it means the name the by which a single seller who is selling his product in the market the name cannot be used by the other one by the other seller there may be similarity in the name but it should not be exactly same because the name has got a patent they have got the copyright they have got their mark from the legal authorities from the government so that nobody can copy their name for their for selling the product they can sell in other name but not with the same name that is, is legal monopoly and then we will talk about natural monopoly what is natural monopoly for example natural monopoly is like some geographical areas which are gifted by nature with full of water and good kind of kind of soil or a land here we can take the example of our state in india haryana or punjab is such a kind of state they are blessed with good natural conditions okay because why because the soil is good okay the weather conditions are good so it is called that particular area of the nation of the region have got the monopoly they are producing more wheat why more wheat is produced there because the conditions the weather conditions which are required for the production of the wheat that exist in that particular area so that local area or it is called a natural monopoly okay so maximum production in india comes from that area because that area that local area or that land is blessed with a good quality of soil at the same time they have got a good weather conditions in that particular region or area now we will come to the technological monopolies now what it refers to there are some businessmen who are it means we are talking about technological monopolies technological monopolies are such kind of monopolies some of the businessmen are in receipt of ancestor business okay here we can take the examples of reliance bajaj there are certain business empires they are the entrepreneurs okay they are blessed with it means ancestor jo property hai okay jo business which is coming to the generation to generation okay the next generation get everything ready made and they are continuing the business with their capacities qualities and that is called a technological monopoly then we will talk about joint monopoly where the production or business is carried out on the basis of trust and group of business empires etc generally these kind of monopoly do not exist but it may be possible that two good companies two good products are coming together and they give their company name as a jv jv means joint venture and together on the basis of trust on the basis of good relations they are running that group they are running that industry and they create their monopoly in the market that is what is joint monopoly then what is next simple and discriminating monopoly a simple monopoly firm charges uniform prices for its product okay and discriminating monopoly firms charges different prices for the same product to the different buyers this concept we will see in our next topic that is price discrimination 
ओके देन नेक्स्ट टाइप इज प्राइवेट एंड पब्लिक मोनोपोली नाउ इन केस ऑफ प्राइवेट एंड पब्लिक मोनोपोली व्हाट हैपेंस एज ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ ओनरशिप इट इज प्राइवेट एंड पब्लिक मोनोपोली व्हेन एन इंडिविजुअल और अ प्राइवेट बॉडी कंट्रोल्स द मोनोपोली इट इज रिगार्डेड एज अ प्राइवेट मोनोपोली एंड व्हेन द प्रोडक्शन इज सोली डन और मेड एंड ऑपरेटेड एंड ओन्ड बाय स्टेट गवर्नमेंट देन इट इज पब्लिक मोनोपोली सम ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट इंडस्ट्रीज are classified under public monopolies you might have seen that there are certain companies there are certain business enterprises which are running in combination with state government and uh, central government okay and there are very less we can take the example that there are very less public uh, monopolies and private private monopolies so these are the different types of monopolies now we will see the price determination under monopoly how the prices are decided and fixed in case of monopoly market or monopoly market structure a monopolist has a control over prices as he is a price maker his prices and output decision is obviously for the reason of profit maximization okay monopoly has a control over prices he is deciding his prices of the product he is a price maker his prices and output decision is obviously from the profit maximization point of view then monopolist faces three situation okay he may earn super normal profit normal profit or but the chances of loss loss is very very few in case of monopoly but there may be a situation for a normal profit and super normal profit and considering the price determination he is a sole person he is a sole seller who is deciding the rates who is deciding the um, uh, prices about his product so price determination or price fixation is very easy and simple in case of monopoly market structure super normal profit is earned at in which situation it can be earned when prices are fixed that is average revenue is more than average cost okay simply you have to remember this that prices are determined how in monopoly structure monopoly faces three situations like super normal profit normal profit and minimum losses but the chances are of losses is very very less it means he never earns loss for his product which he he has produced and selling in the market so this is what is price determination earlier we have seen types of monopoly now we will move on to the another topic that is price discrimination now what is exactly is price discrimination it means a price discrimination in case of monopoly market structure you have to remember this price discrimination under monopoly we can see now the word discrimination means what discrimination means variation differentiation about the prices in case of monopoly how a monopolist is making variations and differentiation for the prices of a single product means the same product is sold in the market at different rates this is called price discrimination what is price discrimination when a same product is sold in the market to the different buyers at different rates then it is called price discrimination discriminate kar raha hai considering the economic situation the financial situation the seller he is selling the same product at different rates to the different buyers you might have seen this happens when you go into the market we will take a very simple example okay when you go to buy something in the market the seller they are very sharp and smart okay looking at your gesture okay looking at your uh, standard of living they are uh, informing you about the rates okay and that is what is exactly price discrimination means the different prices are charged by the monopolist for the same product to the different buyers that is exactly the meaning of price discrimination so price discrimination means what 
a variation in the prices for the same product the same product is sold at the different rates to the different buyers so price discrimination occurs in two ways or in two situations how by changing different prices for the same product to the different sellers and secondly price discrimination or variation is not associated with the cost of production obviously in case of monopoly one thing you have to remember that a single seller or a sole seller has to earn profit generally he is not doing his business in loss that is the basic concept but while deciding the prices while making the discrimination in the prices he is not considering the cost of production obviously the products which he is selling is above the cost of production only it means above the normal range above the no profit no loss situation but still price in price discrimination or variation it is not associated with cost of production these are the two ways it means price discrimination takes under two situations or while deciding the prices although he has to charge a different rates different prices to the different customers still he has to consider consider something and on what basis he will decide that then these are the two ways now what are the different types of price discrimination now we will see <coughs> before this <coughs> we have seen types of monopoly now these are the types of price discrimination personal discrimination okay now in case of personal discrimination here we can take the example of doctor or lawyer okay the person who is a doctor okay and he is checking his patients on daily basis there are some patients who are with good economic conditions or they can afford his treatment but at the same time the same doctor he is charging the lesser fees to those persons to those uh, uh, patients who is coming to them okay they are he is charging different rates to the different patients that is happen in case of personal discrimination this is what is personal discrimination again we can take the example of lawyer also lawyers are also what they are doing they are charging the fees for the service they are providing okay they can also do that rather they are doing the same they are charging different fees to the different persons coming to them this is what is personal discrimination so here we can say depending upon the economic status or condition of the buyer different prices are charged for different buyers what is that personal discrimination depending upon the economic status of the buyer or the seller he is charging different rates to the different buyers okay here we, are, we have taken the example of doctor or lawyer then age discrimination now what is age discrimination this discrimination is made on the basis of age of the buyer and where it is possible when you are traveling in a transport services for example like based services when you are moving with your children so it is written somewhere the notices are uh, attached there that the child from 1 to 5 years he will be charged half rates and the adults and the other persons will be charged more rates this is what is called exactly is age discrimination depending upon the age of the particular person particular buyer the charges the prices are charged this is age discrimination now what is local discrimination local discrimination when a seller who is selling his product in the market he is a single seller okay he is a sole seller and while dealing the goods while selling the goods the producer may charge different prices to the different local markets to the different places it is called geographical discrimination also this local discrimination is also called a geographical discrimination also if the person who is exporter also okay the seller is exporter also it means he is involved in selling his goods out of the country 
in other countries he is selling his goods at that time the rates are different and the same products which are sold in at a national level in his own place in his own country and then that time the rates are different so this is a local discrimination now size discrimination now size discrimination refers to what there are different types of market that is wholesale market or retail market if you go to the retail market you are getting the products at higher rate and the same products which you are buying from the wholesale market those products are purchased by you at a lesser rate that is what is the difference between size discrimination rather retail market and wholesale market this is a size discrimination size discrimination then next is use oblique trade discrimination now how we can take the example of use and trade discrimination depending upon the type of the use of the product the use discrimination takes place how it is possible for example water and electricity charges are charged at different rates by for the different buyers or different use for example we will take a domestic gas okay the or a electricity charges when a person who is running a manufacturing plant or a he is running any business the charges for the electricity are charged at a commercial rate whereas the electricity for the domestic used is provided to the common people the rates are different so domestic charges and commercial uses charges this is what is exactly use and trade discrimination then last is quality oblique special service comfort discrimination here what we can take the example of that in monopoly price discrimination depends upon the quality or the special services provided by the monopolist it means if you are going to watch a movie in multiplex so the rates which are charged by the multiplex owner are different and if you are going to any cinema hall which is a local cinema hall there the charges will be lower or the charges will be different there will be variation in the prices for the watching for watching the movies that is what is quality oblique special service or comfort discrimination okay this is what we have seen today the different types of monopoly then price determination under monopoly and what is price discrimination Con concept of price discrimination under monopoly at the same time different types of price discrimination okay now in next sessions we will see what are the different conditions for price discrimination and further things as per our syllabus thank you